YouTube today I'll be showing off uh, an application for Mac which is free and I find it is a must have for any SSD user. The name of the application is called Disk Inventory X. So pretty much what this program does is it analyzes your disk and it shows you visually where all of your files are. So you simply click on the drive after you open it up and install it and it states that it's loading folder contents. So right now it's scanning your drive it's searching up the types of files you have, what files take up the most space, and it's going to basically index your drive in such a way that you can see whatever exactly is taking up your space so you can free up and also have more space on your solid state drive. So right now it's loading up my solid state. This may take a longer time if you're operating this on a hard drive, but generally on SSDs it runs very fast and smooth and it doesn't take a considerable amount of time. Uh, it also works on bootcamp, but not quite as well as on Mac. It usually shows it all as like purple or a specific color as a document, because it doesn't really read NTFS properly. But it works just fine on Macintosh. So as you can see, I have only 37 gigs, and we're going to see and investigate specifically what files or programs or what takes up all of the space on my computer. All right, so it loaded up. Let's make it bigger. And you can see here exactly what is sucking out my space. So right over here on the right hand side, it says Parallels Virtual Machine, 31.7.3 gigs. So this is what is taking up the most space. You can see here if we scroll up here, Windows XP.pvm. You can right click and open with or reveal in Finder, and you can also directly move to trash. So as you can see here, they're all color coded according to this. You can see here applications. If I click here, you'll see Xcode takes up 4.5 gigs on my computer. Over here, it's Unity. And you can see immediately, say, I'm, do I'm no longer using Battle Bears, for example. I could go directly, move to trash, and say that I do not have sufficient privileges. So I would go over, go to Reveal and Finder, right click, move to trash, and it's going to ask me to enter my password. I'd entered in my password, MP, and it's gone. It does not automatically update. You have to reload the whole uh, disk inventory X. So as you can see, it's loading up quite well. And here are some smaller. These are Xcode documents. <coughs> Excuse me. So different iOS versions. Here is Ubuntu. And you can see here all of the different files to a few kilobytes. It's all listed here. So you can see exactly what's taking up all of your space. You can see here Final Cut Pro. Uh, I have some files over here. I'm going to reveal in Finder. I'm really not going to work anymore on these, so I'm just going to move them all into my trash. Save up more space. iMovie Projects once again. Whoa, look at all this garbage. How much information? 1.5 gigs. That's a lot. Right click. Move to trash, trash, delete. You can, this is a very fast method to clear out your SSD, and especially useful on SSDs because that's when you usually run out of space. You can see all my YouTube videos are sucking up the space over here. Again, move to trash. Again, it says I do not have sufficient privileges. Okay then, reveal and find it. And it does not want to reveal in Finder. Okay, be that way. So we continue on. You can see here all of the garage band lessons, etc. It's a very nice program. It runs fairly smoothly. I had several problems with it when I minimized and maximized that it just blacks out sometimes and it never reloads, like right now. You can see it never reloads again. Okay, now it says rectangle width is not an integral value. Okay, I'll now readjust. So as you can see, there's some issues with this program as far as stability goes. And right now it's not responding, so I'm just going to close it off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a very nice program. It's a free download. And it is a must-have on any SSD on a Mac. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, rate, and subscribe. And come again and watch my other videos on my channel.